why Fashini believes in supporting young designers because there's such a wealth of young talent coming through the colleges at the moment and as well as the Africa's retailers we wanted to tap into the new creativity. We've asked you the public to vote for the young designers so that you can also get involved in the process and select the young designer that will hopefully design some of the clothes that go to Fashini stores. I started off just collecting fabrics and um, fell in love with all these doilies. I wanted it to be bohemian so I decided to make a lot of that. Doing the, making the fabric was a huge tra challenge, piecing all the doilies together because um, obviously it's not fabric so I had to make my own. Um, the specific dress, um, I made it because, I don't know, I thought it went with a the theme and I chose architecture as my base and I just went from there. I went for an all silk look because my, part of my inspiration was the London Museum of Art's windows and I wanted that shimmer and I wanted that shine and I wanted that feeling of looking through a window. So my main inspiration from Bauhaus was all the chairs that were made during that period that came straight out of the Bauhaus School of Design. And um, yeah, so all my style lines are quite simple and smooth and curved, just like a Bauhaus sort of style. The top is made from um, recycled t-shirts, which um, African ladies all over Africa, they make this textile. They get t-shirts out of landfills and they create this textile by hand. Um, I have this design and I was basis inspired by the whole um, architectural um, shapes and all. And I had this um, very hard work. It was really so nice to be able to hear it from the whole team and the bars. And I had to know what I wanted to do. And I had to play around the spiel with shapes and all. It's always very nice. To achieve a current interpretation of the current fashion Bauhaus train, I panelled sheer sokoganza with the solid linen alongside each other um, so that you could see the sports luxe colour block lingerie beneath um, the dress. And then also for the um, conceptual jacket that I did, I actually used block out for it to achieve that very sculpted, um, almost um, wet sooty, uh, solid white look. And then also the colour blocking that I did on the jacket, I used a suede to just add that more um, luxe and ponies can move on from leather that we saw last season. I was one of the Fashini Fashion Awards winners in 2011. Um, it was a really amazing experience because we got to um, see uh, how to create a balance between commercially viable fashion and something that's also really creative. So after the competition I started a, a sock company with my friend and it's doing really well. We started as Emerging Creatives last year and we've just been going from strength to strength and um, yeah, it's been really successful and fun. Um, what was really great about the competition and the time we spent with Fashini and with the, the buyers and the designers was that we really got a great insight into creating something that's commercial and that people want to buy, but still being able to be really creative and doing something fun. Okay.